Hey guys, Brian here from Solid Woodworks. So today I want to show you the sprinter belt out that just finished. It's obviously the longest, tallest sprinter they make. A couple came to me with a couple ideas that they had to build out their sprinter for the weekend camping trips. Uh, they're retired, so they also want to do a massive trip to Alaska next summer. A couple of their friends. So uh, let me show you around this thing real quick. First off, I'm going to show you around to the backside area here, which is the garage. They wanted to have um, a lot of storage, number one. They want to have a little cooking area and then a long area to put their little easy up into. So first things first, there's your long compartment that goes pretty much all nearly up to the front. It's about eight feet long up to there. So you can put their easy up or fishing poles or anything like that. Lots of other storage area here um, for boxes, other goods that they might have that won't fit in the drawers. As you can see back in here, we have the um, battery area. Also inverter up here, circuit breakers for all those. You can see the back side of all my wiring right here, all shrink wrapped, tightened down. Big old 220 amp hour battery. So all that is pretty accessible, especially if you need to get rid of the, uh, change out the battery eventually. Um, outside plug here for when you turn on the inverter, that'll work. And we got the Rover 20 amp right here. I put four 100 watt Renogy uh, solar panels on the roof. Uh, if you ever want to work with Renogy, they're a great company. I would re highly recommend their products, batteries, inverters, solar panels, solar charge, all that stuff. If you ever want to purchase through their website, you use my code SOLIDWOODWORKS for 10% off on their website. It really helps out if you're doing a big purchase. Um, so this is obviously right now charging their battery, solar coming into the battery. You can toggle through all this to see all your different, um, there's zero error codes, uh, temperature of your battery, um, amps that the solar is putting in, volts of your battery, battery percentage, amps uh, per solar panel, volts coming in, so all kinds of good stuff in there. Coming over to this side, this is just pretty much three massive four foot locking drawers. So the first one, bottom right one here is the little cooking area he wanted to have. So we've got the Coleman grill, tons of storage for outdoor barbecue needs, maybe spices or something like that. Obviously, you can pop this bad boy open for your propane in here, have extra bottles of propane, all that good stuff. You want to have a nice cooking area outside for all that, which I thought was a great idea. Coming up to this top drawers, these are, these, both these drawers are identical. Four foot locking drawers with removable dividers in both of them. It is a little tall, but that's just kind of how it came out with the room that was needed for the barbecue and uh, the bed height. So all kinds of storage in here for things you might not get to very often. You can take these out, put chairs in here, extra food, um, you know, gear if you're doing any other adventurous activities like climbing or something. Slide those back in, locking drawer slides. You can also find these on my website. It is obviously a massive storage area from here. You can also see the headboard that they wanted to have um, to not let any of their pillows or blankets or anything fall off. Right here we have the R&B components, uh, blackout uh, magnetic curtain uh, system right here. These things are awesome. You can also find these online. All the stuff in this build, I'll have a link to in the description of the video down below. If you just click view more down below, you'll see links to everything I've been using in these builds. Helps you out with trying to use stuff in your own build. So this is the inside. Came out so nice. As you can see, we have massive kitchen area, bench seat, this is where there'll be a queen size bed, TV, storage, more bench seats, nice cherry countertop, the red finish on it. Let me close this door so we don't get so much glare in here. There we go, much better. Nice deep square sink is really something they wanted. Over here we got the switch panel, We've got all the lights, fan, water pump, a uh, 12 volt USBs, inverter plugs. Right here we have the um, remote for the inverter. So you just click that bad boy, that turns on. You'll see your volts drop a little bit. Now these are live. The back plug is live and then a power strip down below is live. Power strip powers uh, these plugs, a DVD player and also the TV. So you can pop the TV on right now as well. There you go, nice smart TV. Customer provided this. I probably would've went with a 12 volt TV, but to each their own. Maybe they already had it or something. Um, so that's nice. Turn that inverter off whenever you're not using it. Cabin lights, we've got rear lights above the bed. 
lights right here over the table and forward lights over the kitchen and walking area. Um, fan, we got the button for that just here. Turns on a rear fantastic fan, which was already installed back there. As you can see, this um, Sprinter also has a air conditioning unit. So they actually have a shore power plug outside, which was already installed. I just helped wire it up. So when this uh, storage, uh, when the shore power does turn on, the air conditioning will be able to turn on with that. Only when the shore power is on, you're not able to really run that off an inverter unless you have a massive inverter. Um, walking over to this area, I'll show you this first. We got the bench seats. Tons of storage under the bench seat. Under this bench seat, we actually have a toilet. A lot of other good things I'll show you in a second there. So the idea for these bench seats was to have the slide out table here. Nice cherry table. Slides out. Big area to play some card games, eat dinner, all that good stuff. Have a seat there, have a seat here. You can even sit two people on this side if you wanted to. I really like this hidden table um, concept. I've had it in a couple builds now. That slides right back in. Drawers underneath the table with slam latches. Another drawer, massive 30 inch drawers down here. Tons of storage for everything you possibly think of. Down here, this is actually where the toilet will be used. So this will slide out like that. You'll be able to pop it open, sit in it, use it just like so. Once that's open, you can actually see some of my more some more of my wiring back here. We've got the uh, <clears throat> fuse block, all the positives and negatives. We've got the uh, shore power and inverter um, AC plugs there. Right here is actually the DVD player, which has HDMI going up to the TV. There's a power strip for everything else plugged in. So that's pretty easily accessible if you ever needed to get to that kind of stuff. Looking in front of the kitchen right here, we've got obviously under the sink, just uh, two five gallon jugs, what the customer wanted, just something really simple. They can pull in and out. Two more drawers, for all the kitchen cooking goods slam latches and one more smaller drawer in there and then comes along to the Dometic fridge super nice Dometic fridge customer provided this I like this it's a nice little style put it higher up in the cabinet so it was easier to get to and easier to work with and then we have the microwave which only works on shore power it'll be nice for them to have if they're ever somewhere um, camping and need to kind of heat something up real quick not having to pull out their whole uh, stove or anything like that um, they wouldn't have to uh, go out back and use a barbecue or a little stove back there as well. So all in all, I think it was an awesome build. Um, finished it off with some flooring here. Cadmus had a whitewash on it, cherry countertop, a little bit of extra red in it. Uh, some beautiful upholstery done by New Lines Upholstery just here in Huntington Beach near my shop. Check them out if you ever need some upholstery done. Um, opening the door one more time. showing you some of the details at the end of the flooring do some edge metal glued in with a um, little bit of sanded look to it I think that looks really nice I like that extended the bench seat a little bit just give you a little bit extra room into the doorway in case you were to want to sit two people um, obviously that cushion I'd be a little skinnier so accommodate the um, toilet and everything because the toilet can only be so much height with a drawer slide and all that but all in all, a pretty awesome build out. Oh, one last thing actually. So right up in here, we have more storage. So once the queen size bed fits in here, we have storage down here. It's super deep, couple feet deep, long. You can even buy some little cubbies to fit on the top there. Same thing on this side, deep storage galore. So they're gonna have to buy more things to bring on their trip because they have too much storage, I think. Um, all in all, an awesome build out. And I think they're gonna be super happy. They should be here really soon. Last little look up here for the solar panels on a 80-20 built rack. So as I said, those solar panels you can find through renergy.com and um, you can use my code SOLIDWOODWORKS to get 10% off of that. So all in all, an awesome build. Uh, please comment below any uh, 
questions you might have or you know say hey epic build hey i'd like to see more of this whatever you guys like to see on this channel i've been trying some product reviews and building out some different vehicles all the links for the items used will be in the description below and um thanks for watching guys and see you on the next one